In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can convert units using dimensional analysis and making a multi-step conversion. If we do not have the correct conversion factor to convert in one step, we can convert using several conversion factors to work our way to the units that we want. For example, if I want to convert 365 grams into pounds, I might not have a conversion factor that relates grams to pounds. So what we'll do is see what we can convert grams into. Let's start, as usual, making the 365 grams into a fraction, putting it over 1, and then setting up our conversion factor. To get rid of grams, we put them in the opposite place, or the denominator. And one thing we can change grams into is kilograms. We know that there are 1,000 grams in 1 kilogram. And when we do that, the grams will divide out, leaving us with just kilograms. Whoops. But we don't want these kilograms. What we're ultimately going for is pounds. And so we're just going to use another conversion factor as we work our way there. We don't want the kilograms, so we'll stick them in the denominator so that they'll divide out, and we can change kilograms into pounds. Because we know that 2.2 .2 pounds is 1 kilogram. And now the kilograms divide out, leaving just the pounds left that we want. We're ready to multiply straight across. 365 times 1 times 2.2 .2 pounds is 803 pounds. Over 1 times 100 times 1 is... or 1,000 is 1,000. And when we divide, we get 0 0.083 pounds. What's interesting about this process is we could have gotten there several different ways. There's no one set way that you have to solve the problem. For example, if I wanted to change grams not into kilograms, but we could have changed grams into ounces. You might be able to find in a conversion chart that 1 ounce is 28.3 grams, and the grams would divide out. And then we get rid of the ounces by putting them in the denominator and changing them into the pounds we want. Because we know that in 1 pound, there are 16 ounces. When we multiply straight across in this case, we get 365 pounds over 28.3 times 16 is 452.8. And when we divide there, we get 0 0.80 pounds. So again, it's approximately... oh, it's 0.81, I think, when we round. 0.81 pounds. And you see, we're off by a slight round off there, but we get essentially the same answer. So if there's no one conversion factor, we just have to find a path to get there, changing grams into something, and then change that into something, until we get the units we ultimately are looking for. Let's try another example. Here we're changing 5 gallons into cups. If we put the 5 gallons over 1, we can start making conversion factors. Get rid of gallons by putting them in the bottom. And while we can't change to cups, we can change gallons into quarts, because 1 gallon is 4 quarts, and the gallons will divide out. To get rid of the quarts, then, we put them in the denominator, and we can change quarts into pints, because 2 pints is 1 quart, and the quarts divide out. Still going, because we haven't reached cups yet, we put the pints in the denominator now, and we can convert pints into cups, finally. 2 cups is 1 pint, and we finally have that unit we're looking for. We're ready to multiply straight across. 5 times 4 times 2 times 2 is 80 cups over 1. 1 times 1 times 1, or just 80 cups for our solution. <laughs>